both teams in contention for the major, you can expect tensions to be very, very high. You could say that the odds are against both of these teams, but certainly everybody thinks one team's odds is slightly better than the other's teams. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, and I think, to be honest, after seeing how Optic played yesterday, a clean 3-0 through their group with a win over a team like FaZe Clan, yeah, it's, it's fair enough to pick them, but that 93% is, is quite, uh, quite the margin. I will say a victory, and I think there's still good things over on that Shopify Rebellion side. You two-piece Parth and Memory have shown that they're a capable team, capable of playing spoiler for, you know, it doesn't really matter who you are. You can't take them lightly just because they don't make the bracket very often. 7% is certainly crazy. I've never seen that kind of percentage, but we'll see. Shopify Rebellion, I certainly think they're better than 7%. These Rettles will kick things off for Optic. The big thing everyone has on their minds is wondering if they can keep that momentum going from their group stage optic. And right now, AJ, it's a good pull off as he tries to get clear out. You're going to need a good game from memory. Uh, on defense, of course, he will very likely be more often than not third man back for Shopify Rebellion. So he's probably going to have his work cut out for him. Nice little dish forward. Magic Bear, decent enough save. Two piece coming in to try and jam at home, and Magic Bear up early to stop him, but. The defensive back line going to be important for Shopify Rebellion as to forget the defensive back line. Memory's out here doing it himself. It's a nice one for Memory on the air dribble or on the reset and then the bump. Nicely done. Usually Memory's not the guy doing that on this team. You're typically thinking it's going to be two piece. Memory's been around, been around for a long, long, long time. time. And it's, it's pretty crazy to see him still make it this far into tournaments. Shopify Rebellion, they've had their struggles this season for sure, but Memory showing up big time for that first goal. Ooh, and they make it another one. They will indeed. Parth is able to collect off the skim off the roof of Two Piece here. It's just a quick clear up the corner. Rettles is, honestly, that's his best play. Just go try and cut it off. That's just a great aggressive challenge from Two Piece and just enough pace to get around the third man off the game and caught leaning a little bit, and Rettles just unable to buy any time. This is why saying that eh, I think Shopify Rebellion a little bit more than 7%. Remember back in fall, they were kind of in uh, a back stretch position to make the major if they had had one really solid placement in the third regional in fall, but they ended up falling apart. But there have been some big moments for the Shopify Rebellion team. No, not a big surprise that they go up 2-0 early here, but Optic had a little bit of pressure, but struggling to get any consistent offense. That was just their second shot. They do, however, collect two boosts, the midfield one and a Shopify corner one. So maybe that will give them enough of a foothold on the map to at least start to position themselves a bit more aggressively. And you may see your first stint here of optic offense. Well, good pass to AJ, but he just ripped it. Magic Bear was there and Shopify Rebellion made sure he wasn't anymore. But guess what? He spawned, he's deleted again. But AJ in front of the touch. One lets it drop. Couldn't stay behind it. Rebellion don't stay and they're half long. In fact, Parth drops it underneath, but Magic Bear still gets the touch. Having to face the demo. Able to avoid it and Shopify Rebellion back to their own half. But really commanding the pitch right now. They do have a lot of coverage, but a little bit slow on the follow-up right now in the midfield at least. Optic slowly but surely reasserting their presence across the pitch. Definitely making it a lot harder for Shopify to stay on extended pushes through the Optic defensive half as Memory trying to jam one through, but no shot. AJ already in position. That shot also well wide, but Rettles maybe a little bit of an ill-advised touch. Thankfully, Toothpee is not able to capitalize. Optic really just need a little bit of control there and start to see things go their way, I think. Ooh, two-piece got a great clear downfield, though. Ooh. He saw Rettles. He was kind of sizing it up, sitting in midfield. He got a full tank of boost. He was playing this side, but two-piece just lands so quickly. That ball uh, comes so far out, and he gets caught. And that follow-up from memory as well. He was with two-piece all the way on that transition, but you're right. That smooth landing on the sidewall from two-piece allowed him to get right back into the play. And in a situation where most people think you're generally going to be out of it, that control of his car, this great movement. 
giving Shopify a pretty commanding lead here in game one, and honestly, probably more than enough to do it, even with 90 seconds. Optic just not quite had the the guns out of the gate ready to go this time, it would seem. I mean, that was just their fifth shot. And when we okay. looked at the, okay, well, their first <laughs> goal, never mind. AJ finds the back of the net and they restart the clock. Nice challenge from Rettles, really just trying to keep it in the mix. And of course, there's the pressure on memory, trying to screen it, make it as awkward as possible to try and make that save. Not sure if it really phased him too much, but no matter that, still had AJ come through, fire a bullet at the net. He'll get the job done. Little fake kickoff as well. Optic trying to pull out all the tricks to get themselves back in this one. Magic player forced to pull off. Memory was so quick to the challenge. Now he's just bullied them all out. Pass to the corner, Memory. Conducting the pass downfield. But Optic able to hang on. Time not necessarily on their side right now. And it's still Rebellion. But pushing Magic Bear out of the way, still winning the touch. Nothing really developing on the field. Maybe here, Rettles, he got the boost downfield, but the pass was too light. Easily defended. Ooh. Oh, and another cut goes back for Rebellion. Nice job from Parth as well, not letting AJ start that one. Great dish to Rettles, and actually surprise touch. Memory Whoa. trying his best to get this one out. AJ can't keep it in the mix. Shopify Rebellion, I think, really got quite fortunate there. That could have backfired quickly, but... They're able to rally in time, and nice, strong challenge from two-piece gets the ball to safety. And of course, Optic, you, you can't be surprised there, leaning pretty hard on the offense, trying to jam one in and give themselves a shot. Get yeah, I mean, you've got to throw bodies at that one, right? It's only yeah. game one as well, might as well. Oh, well, let's see what works. That one's a decent shot, but a better save. I don't know. Those opening minutes from Optic, I certainly thought that they'd be a little more heavy on the offense, but instead it's been a lot of that on the blue half. They really just weren't able to get a lot going in the orange half. So I, I don't know, Chiefs. How, how exactly are you seeing this one? Uh, I, I mostly just think it's a, it's a quality challenge game from Rebellion. They're definitely not allowing a lot of space. They certainly aren't giving Optic a lot of time uncontested with the ball. And I think pretty much that's all you can really ask. I, I think it's a well-deserved win. The shot differential looks pretty even, obviously, plus two for Rebellion, but in general, I, I mostly think they just did a nice job, especially two-piece really getting up in people's faces and making it tough for them to control the ball, and Optic just didn't really have an answer at the moment. You know, it says something that when the, when the, when the game starts with a memory flip reset bump goal, I think that anybody who was like making kind of like predictions on what player is going to score the first goal and how are they going to score it? Literally, <laughs> memory nobody would have done. You could have you pulled a thousand people. Not a single person would have put memory on that list. <laughs> memory flip reset bump. Probably not too that high up the list of options. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure. I, you know, I'll give that one to AJ. AJ might hit that. Two piece might hit that. But memory? I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'm, not, can. I'm not trying to diss him. He can. It just doesn't happen often. Right. Definitely not his uh, his modus operandi on the regular, that's for sure. But that just goes to show he's been around a long time. There's a lot of tools in that basket. Pulled out it right the time to start that game off. Couldn't ask for a better time, I suppose. And after that, it was really two-piece Parth in memory. Great spacing, a ring on the challenge game. They, they really just said, Optic, look, you're going to have to execute if you want to beat us. Unfortunately, Optic never really won a big key challenge or got a big key block to really put Shopify in a bad spot. Let's see if they can figure out a way to get through this Rebellion squad. But memory, a good catch. You wanted another bump. Rettles had to give it up. Two piece in the air. And Optic fine on defense for now. As AJ and Magic Bear. Bit of confusion on who's going for that touch. Magic Bear coming back, gets the bump. Optic trying to recover off of that earlier mistake. And they did freeze Rebellion. Still a battle in midfield. Oof. Ball keeps getting just sent back to the back wall. Real heavy touches, though, from Rebellion. Yeah, they've got possession here, but they certainly aren't able to move the ball the way they'd like, of course. <laughs> oh, right as I start talking about some of the issues they have, Memory gets the perfect dish off the corner to himself, and how about a dime to the back post? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> What, what's, what, what, you know, what's the memory been eating today? Yeah, seriously, what do you have It's working well. <laughs> it, it, it's not even just like the first goal or anything, but even in the last game, he's, he's winning his 50s, he's moving the ball downfield for Rebellion, and, and really 
at the center of this push for Rebellion in the series so far. It's always the question. Off. Yeah. Do you feed the hot hand? It's, it's like, oh, uh, you, I, normally I wouldn't really think to, to give the ball to memory. But right now, it's, <laughs> he's I'll tell you, mem memory like sitting here, he's like, I just scored a sick goal. I can do anything. Yeah, so, yeah give me another one. <laughs> give it to him. <laughs> That's a good bump, though. Optic trying to get back Ooh. in. Magic Bear just lets it drop. <laughs> it's the first goal for Optic. And here you see the classic principle. You see Parth go up the backboard here and Magic Bear the right idea. Honestly, I think he actually missed the, <laughs> the flip reset. I think Magic Bear was actually trying to jam that one in. And I think he's a little bit fortunate that that one actually didn't come off his nose any stronger because since Parth went up that backboard, it's actually quite difficult to get all the way down to the bottom of the net. And Magic Bear with a flip flip reset finds a small gap. AJ, the, his nose got bopped by the crossbar. But I think that ended up working out in his favor because he landed perfectly onto the ball. It's just interesting. Rettles Sweet. leaving the side wall. AJ jumps early, but it's a free touch. If Magic Bear could get there, he's got no boost, though. Rettles gets a bump. Magic Bear might split the seam, but he just couldn't go fast enough. Now AJ, no boost as well. And a tenuous control of the orange half, but Optic are making it work. Magic Bear, another touch out, another 50 for Rettles. Rettles and Magic Bear. A little bit of struggle in getting to the box. <laughs> Looks a little ugly, but they're trying to hang on to that ball. Rebellion finally grabbed it. Yeah, Magic Bear really, he was just getting bumped around by a bunch of different people. He was just doing his best to try and keep the ball in the mix, and this actually may pay off well. Rettles cannot connect. connect. <laughs> I don't know why I went with a long O, but either way, Optic Gaming is just trying to poke and prod, see if they can get another one of those weird defensive communication mishaps because it happened earlier on that Shopify Rebellion side. It just took a little bit of physicality and you can see some cracks start to appear as that one's punched off the wall and a beautiful clear from Emery straight to Parth as well. Oh. Yeah, good clear though by Rettles. The transition got out of hand quickly. Magic Bear jumps the route. Rettles there, quick shot by Ooh. two piece. He couldn't make it happen. His car got blown back. 2-1 for Optic. A lot to consider here for two piece. This really was like watching uh, the volleyball player try and defend the net or get up tall and you just hit the ball so hard, it goes right through your fingers. <laughs> Two piece just not fast enough to get all the way above it. Just ripped one right over his shoulder. Optic Gaming definitely starting to get a much firmer grasp on the series now. And now you ask a lot of questions. Shopify, yeah, you made some nice plays in game one, but now we hold all the cards. You got to make a play to come beat us now. They've been shut down in the shot department, only three of them. Much different than how game one go has gone, but memory, looking for two piece. Really had to stretch for it. And now it's Optic who are in the comfortable spot, but it might start getting a little shaky here. Two piece, his ball knocked away. Another quick shot, memory, puts some <laughs> lead behind it. We got a tie game. Heavy. Heavy hit from memory, and that's all he really needed. Uncontested here in the middle of the box. It's just making sure you get enough on it and keep it in the top of the net, and you can't miss. Boy, did he deliver. Huge shot from memory again. Yeah, he, he's, not, he's not missing right now, that's for sure. Yeah, he used to have feed the beast. Parth. Oh, there he goes. He's going to pop it for two piece. And memory's forced to stay back. Match by popping it up. Think about to the earlier optic opportunity. They got two demos. And they still had a last defender to beat in net. Rettles had tried to fake him out and give the ball off the Magic Bear. And then a lot of those touches, I know you're talking about heavy touches for Rebellion, but some of Optic's touches, the way they're positioned, I think they're hoping for softer bounces when they're on this half, or at least in, on that last push. We'll see what develops for them here. Shopify Rebellion are at least holding on. Memory gets his boost stolen. AJ. A little soft pinch back to Magic Bear, cut off by two piece. That's a big clear. Forcing Rettles back, two piece. Just gonna swing off the ball. Memory looking for a pass, but everybody bails out, and Magic Bear has control. A oh, weird rotation there from Shopify Rebellion. Very spread out, but thankfully Optic not really able to grab control of the ball cleanly and really move it wherever they like and go for these nice long clears, really trying to space Shopify Rebellion out. Honestly, I don't think that's a bad idea. I do think in general, I would take Optic winning a extended fight for the ball up in the air and just win on positioning alone. Ooh. Memory had the catch in midfield. Two piece, nothing for him. AJ gets a ramp bounce and there we go. OT on Forbidden Temple. Nice job from Parth, don't overthink it. 
Got that one coming back to your own half. Just jump up, smack it to the floor, reset everything on the kickoff. Good idea. Ball killed there for Memory's Challenge. Bellion just constantly forced laterally to move, catch up to these Ooh. challenges. Two piece buys them a little space and a demo, but Magic Bear is the one behind the ball. Forced to give it up off of Memory's Chip. Parth. Again. Harassed by Magic Bear, forced to give up the ball. AJ in the corner, two touches out. Reddles waits. No one gets the touch. Magic Bear left all by himself. AJ trying to help out, kicks it away, and bails Magic Bear out of what would have been a dangerous 2v1. Parth uh, trying to keep that ball going. Again, Optics defense. Not letting Rebellion play in front of the box. This one from Parth. Maybe he could do it. Going for the corner Ooh. read, but that's a little tough. Last man getting demoed from Rebellion. And answered Ooh, by Pieces' own demo, and they just can't find a way in. I feel like two piece probably would have been better served dumping that one back to his own half. Unfortunately, Magic Bear was a huge challenge, and now it's in such a tough spot. Parth does an excellent job, not overcommitting too high for that, and just able to poke that out to the corner. But Optic definitely reasserting possession of the ball and forcing these long clears from Shopify. Rattles, good catch. The best 50, though. Everyone on Optic will, will on the opposite side, but I mean, AJ still gets the ball for free. Two piece, let him walk in. Parth, another catch. Parth swinging around the wall. Feigns the dodge, trying to touch off back to his team, but Chop and Fire Bellion's rotation very loose right now. Okay. Tends to happen in overtime. And Ooh. there it is! A missed 50 in front of the box. Magic Bear gets the game win for Optic. It's just AJ testing the defense. Memory, that's actually a great challenge. I mean, he's right up in AJ's face. He's got the hand up. It's just one of those freak incidents where tips right off his car. And of course, of course, Rocket League gods say the ball hits that top corner, goes straight back out. And it's such a tough read to make for the second man trying to rotate through the defensive box. And unfortunately, couldn't get a hand on it. Optic Gaming there to clean up the scraps. It was a very tight defensive game from Optic. And just didn't give Rebellion anything in regulation. A couple of decent shots from memory. Lo love the one that he had on the corner right read. There. and spotted it good. left side. That was a great shot. And memory certainly played well so far. But Two Piece is typically the pop off guy on this team. And while he does have two assists, he is involved in the offense. Uh, his his pop off potential, his mechanical prowess has been shut down by Optic. Yeah, I mean, I mean that again. That's the product of how Optic's moving that ball around over on the Rebellion half. In general, it, it's quite difficult for Rebellion to really bring that ball, you know, trapped and start a dribble and, and really bring possession to themselves on their own terms and move the ball up the field how they would like, or at least take a challenge in, in a more stable position, if that makes sense. They, they are really getting pressured pretty quick out of those corners and it's forcing them into just dumping that ball all the way down to the opposite end. And it's making it tough for them to consistently win the battle of possession. Well, let's see if they can start winning that possession. Seems like right they, there from Parth. Just I mean, such like, a hard touch, right? Exactly, like straight off kickoff. Like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with trying that. Of course, two piece will recover in the midfield and score. But that being said, the thought process, not necessarily one that you should be looking for consistently. Really trying to wonder why. I guess Reddles didn't have any boost. He couldn't actually jump and challenge it. But I mean, the, the, the ball wasn't that high, though. You can at least jump there, right? Maybe he just thought two piece wasn't going to get back. I mean, he had two players up behind him, right? What are the odds two piece gets through and scores? <laughs> I mean, I mean, but OK, but not jumping and you just give him the touch for free. I mean, at least true, right? you know, but hey, if they win this, maybe we can ask Reddles what he was thinking in that moment. Yeah, he's got no boost here to drop it down. But here comes Magic Bear. Oh, Get around and free ball, lot. but taking away memory, hit the ball back into two piece. Bit of pinball, and there go Rebellion. Back to the blue half. Two piece, here he comes. Mm, the dunk makes it a little awkward oh for AJ. Goodness. Coming across, memory puts it in. His first goal of the game. Talk about manipulating a challenge. Look at two piece boost to the outside of the ball. He's sizing up where Magic Bear was on the backboard so he could make sure to jam this one into the box. Oh, that it was is. big brain challenging from two piece. Two piece. A quiet game, but not anymore. Now memory keeps the touch tight. Parth flips it over one, and ooh, always these tight 
pushing us on defense. Now off to quick pass. Reddle's cut off immediately, though. And Parth able to just throw that ball into midfield. As everybody on Rebellion, well, two have tons in the tank. They're forced to put the ball downfield, and the last man got demoed. That one's just too heavy again. They had a two-on-one transition right there, and Shopify just kind of dumped the ball away. That being said, they have held possession, but just want to see the small refinement. Rettles, that's an excellent save on a difficult one to make right at him over the back shoulder. Not an easy way, and no guarantees that you actually keep it out either. AJ almost landing for another reset, but the ball skid off his car. Magic Bear caught on the flick. Bellion happy to play in the corner until they find a 50 they like. That one, Magic Bear hopped right on top of it. Bellion, hard touch from Parth. Rells gets the look at this one. He keeps it tight. Now he beats Parth. Got one more to go. Rebellion actually get control of this. Just a high ball. Nobody's jumping for it. And Optic is getting a lot of time to reset, take a lot of boost. It's been difficult, but Rebellion still get the ball in midfield. Parth has got the carry and just can't get another touch across to make Rettles uncomfortable. AJ Pre Ooh. jumped the pass and he got burned for it. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be down towards the floor. thought maybe it was going to be a little bit higher and that's kind of the product that definitely feels like this game has gone up at least a gear in terms of pace. Everyone trying to increase their speed just a little. And when you're trying to do that, you go for that free jump like AJ. And if it's not perfectly dished right to you in a flub, a transition, Rettles just dumps one up the middle part. They're able to cover up. AJ just has to skip this one. Unfortunately, can't get it mid or off the wall. Again, part there for the save. Shopify holding on to a decently safe two goal lead, but a lot of time left. Two piece. Oh, wow. AJ got underneath. Oh. It doesn't matter, though. Parth puts that one in the back after a heroic effort here from AJ. Yeah, that one just doesn't feel fair. I mean, you make a great stop like that, and then Magic Bear just realizes he's the one on the hook for the one that there's no shot to save. Unfortunate if you're Optic Gaming, but Rebellion, huge push, great pressure. And they find themselves in an incredibly safe position now. Three goals generally tends to always be the safety net, but there, of course, is Magic Bear to bring them right back into two, and you kind of write off one you just gave up because now you're back in the same spot. Be careful, Achieves. Don't stay comfortable. A lot of, a lot of time. I always feel good at 3-0, but as soon as you score three and then you give one back, you immediately go back to saying, yeah, I, I don't feel good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, two goals are the most dangerous lead, and here we are. <laughs> Oh man, memory. Try to get that lead or that three goal lead back. And AJ not getting the touch he wants. Get forced to play ball in the blue half. Time increasingly becomes a factor. Magic Bear downfield, no contact. Optic really just trying to outspeed Shopify Rebellion in these corners and they're, they're diving. Very aggressive really hard, positioning yeah. and they're just not successful on like, making contact. Rebellion also diving pretty hard for some of those challenges, and here it's actually going to cost them. Optic breaks out, and they get a man in front of the ball. That's a, Reddles is taking a page out of the Space Nation book, leave the dribble and go for the bumps. Unfortunately, couldn't connect, and that could have been a huge play for Optic. I feel like that was originally Reddles book, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's the you Reddles know? book. You're right. <laughs> if, if, any, if anything, they, they wrote the, uh, the, copy, the copycat, right? Space Station. Like, Reddles wrote the OG book, and then they just wrote us a book in the same genre. I don't really know what's going on. Adapted Optic. by. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get it. You're right. It's like the adaptation of the of the OG book. Okay. 45 seconds. Optic still unable to find the back of the net for a second time, but they get a little space with Magic Bear. He's got no boost left. Let's drop. Uh, well, he doesn't let it drop. It just does drop. Reddles. Ooh, okay. For Magic Bear again. AJ yes. on the wing. He's jumped it. But memory Ooh. says you're going to have to work a little harder than that. Reddles. And launches it back over to AJ. Optic, they're, they're playing by themselves in the orange half, but they simply can't score. Optic is going for the world. I mean, oh, and they get punished, though. Memory. Again, another beautiful bit of shooting here. I mean, this is just Optic pressing hard and trying to score and having to rotate back. Reddles, honestly, he's not really in that bad of a position. It's, it's most likely that Memory tries to punch that wall, uh, ball off the wall and into middle, so Reddles is trying to close down that angle, but... Emery gets all the way around the back of one again and just finds that back post, man. Unreal with how Optic have played, with how confident the desk was. 
And with how confident chat was about Optic's chances in this series, it's Rebellion after game three going up 2-1 in the series. Hearth, two piece in memory, getting it done right now. You never doubt. You never know what's going to happen. And that's another seven shots for AJ. Someone on Optic had seven shots in the previous game, but clearly there's uh, some shooting issues. Not a lot of high quality chances, it would seem, for Optic. They're really trying to press, and that's why it felt like they tried to shift into that gear where they try and get a little more aggressive, try and predict the play just a little more, be a little bit faster, see if they can get the edge over that Rebellion defense that way. But just for whatever reason, not connecting like on like, demos or just not yeah. making the right passes. Ah, that, that's like the thing, though, right? Is like if if you find yourself diving at challenges you've no business diving for, like isn't that the moment that you should like stop for a second and 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 slow down and try to let Rebellion give that ball up instead of constantly diving trying to be the faster team? Because you end up look at you end up being slower that way, don't you? Yeah, yeah. If if you're not making contact on those plays and really just pulling yourself out of position, yeah, you're gonna slow down your rotation back to even if you are making contact them. though and you're like diving at the ball, like you're not gonna get a challenge that your that your team is gonna be able to use most of the time, right? I I, I don't know. It's it's I mean it's the school of thought, right? It, it, it all goes back to how much trust you have in the people behind you to be able to to at least buy you some time and that's it's neither good nor bad as AJ is just gonna float one over the entire Shopify defense here kind of out of nowhere. Memory actually really just trying to make it easy for Parth, but unfortunately, I, I think Parth may have messed up a half flip, and that's why he used a second Yeah, he jumped there, but... right before the 50 happened, and then had to recover. I think I think that little that little chip right there did slow him down enough. Ooh, makes up with it. Makes up for it with a nice 50. And, oh, okay, all right. I guess this is Twisted Metal now. Is Memory gonna... <laughs> Push this ball back downfield. Hang on a second. Memory. Ooh. No chance for him. And Shopify Rebellion. Really kind of, I, I think this is the first game where they haven't scored first. He, well, I guess I they, they, I they scored two, first right? in lost the temple. Game two. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you're right. The, the offense has been spotty at best for Optic. They launched that downfield. Really, when, when Rebellion haven't given them error, I don't really think they've given them many holes to, to punch through. And, and I don't think Optic have had, like, the worst tries on offense either. I, I don't think the last game was their best offensive effort, but I definitely thought even in game one, uh, they looked a lot better with their uh, with their creativity on offense. But it's just not any of it. Like, just all hard touches from Optic. Oh, Everyone just okay. rotating back, hoping they can get the ball. And... AJ, no boost, Whoa. doesn't get the touch. Parth throws it up, but it's thrown right back into the trash. Optic keeping that one goal lead. Parth pops it up. What a Rebellion have on this push. Got to applaud Magic Bear and the poise on defense right there. That was <laughs> not a fun spot to try and defend from. And he made a great read on what was actually happening there and a big stop to keep Shopify Rebellion from tying things up in memory Whoa. again. <laughs> I would not have been surprised if that pinched straight in the top corner. <laughs> <laughs> when it rains, it pours. That, that, that goes both ways, when you're playing well and when you're playing badly. But memory, it's been okay. But right now, Optic are in the lead. Ooh, Reynolds just, did. just could not hang on to the ball right up to memory. Oh, no. unlucky. AJ flips backwards, trying to rotate. Magic Bear coming in for the pop. A real chance for Optic to put pressure on the net. And yeah, Ooh. it all gets sent back to the blue. That's the thing. It's like optic. You're like, okay, there's definitely some good ideas. The structure's decent enough. The the idea is correct. It's just for whatever reason, little tiny things just not going their way, and it's thrown off the entire sequence of what they're trying to do. And it just feels like if things start to turn around just a little bit for optic, it feels like there's a lot of potential there to really put the squeeze on Shopify. But so far, only a one goal lead. That one's never safe in Rocket League. Another hard challenge in the corner. Two piece. Does not get bumped. In fact, he's got the reset. Optic continue to keep Rebellion out of the net, as tenuous as it may feel. Here comes one more, a demo to, oh, on the backside. Reynolds, oh. he jumped early, but Two Piece never left. Now he gets his ball back in the corner. A demo forcing Optic into hurry up mode, but they still get the ball back in a 50. Magic Bear, Ooh. no touch. And Parth gonna... is going to get out for free. He flicks over one. Parth oh. still going, but the touch taken away by Magic. Yeah, Parth actually going for the optimal play there. Just pinched that one across the middle of the pitch, and that was an excellent read again. That optic defense 
figuring it out pretty quick what the plan was. Shopify finding a few really nice counterattacks. It's just a matter of can they bear fruit back on the other side? Two piece. That's an aggressive dive. Don't hate the idea. Time is starting to really become a factor here, so maybe willing to take a few more risks. Still a good bit of time. Oops. One goal and it's two piece. Not gonna follow up if he wants. Memory also stuck with no boost there. Rebellion just kind of forced to retreat, albeit slowly. Now two piece, a decent catch, 48 boost, and a hard hit. Where Rebellion can go here, AJ and Magic Bear still keeping the corner closed. Nice little chain dash from Magic Bear to throw it downfield. Two piece nice. forced to control. Oh, really great job too. Oh my goodness. That was smooth. I mean, just trapped that ball nicely against himself back in his own half. Converted the air dribble all the way back to the other side, giving Shopify Rebellion a lot of space here to work with on offense for the final 30 seconds. That's that type of control you need on defense, or at least on your own half if you're Rebellion right now. Oh! With 22 seconds left, Parth hits the deep angle. Memory lobs it up. AJ has oh. to stretch. He's coming down underneath, but Porth was already above him and had a great touch on the wheel, slotted in the top. What a shot from Parth. So tough to hang with on the backboard, too, there if you're AJ. Just take that skip off after you miss your initial touch, and Parth trying to surprise the defense. Reddles all over it on, deep on the back line as well. Memory, of course. Who else? Another clear. Ooh, pass? Elliot. Ooh. Trying to steal this game away after Optic held a lead for four and a half minutes. Magic Bear ripped oh, be one careful. up to commit from Rebellion. <laughs> and Rettles, he wants to play, but he lost it. <laughs> Rebellion almost uh, panicked themselves into <laughs> the oh, losing no. game four right there. <laughs> Ooh, this kickoff could be dangerous because AJ's got the ball, but actually got the touchdown to Magic Bear. It's looking okay for Optic. If they can keep that ball, Rettles gets in the way. But uh, Parth gets a big clear, forcing AJ and Magic Bear back. And they actually get back to this. Memory has to stay back. And he cuts the pass off. Parth got a demo on the back side, but just too hard of a touch for him to get to quickly. And AJ follows him nicely. Ooh, careful. One on one. Magic Bear really just taking his best guess there. Didn't really have the time to sit there and let his teammates come forward, so just took a hot shot at the net. Rettles stuck on the sidewall, and he'll actually recover beautifully. Barth was coming to apply that pressure, and got to live that control from Rettles right there to stop a disaster from happening and putting themselves in the hole. Ooh, magic, trying to use the ceiling. He's got another reset. He's got another reset, but he got too far away from the net. Rettles popping it across. Two-piece having to reorient his car. Optic stealing the boost out. Two-piece looking for a way in, but Magic Bear cuts him off in midfield. AJ's got 14 boosts. He can't even leave the wall, but he's still going to stick around, hoping for a boost steal. Rettle's not going to get the 50 for him, and he's forced to retreat. Yeah, and Shopify currently getting boxed into their own half right now. They're having to play for boost uh -oh. rather than the clear, and AJ oh! cannot quite get it clean. He had the idea to go just around the backside of the defender, but he overcooked it, and now two-piece Hearth and Memory are going to survive of what should be a 2-2 series. Oh, AJ. Smart to delay his dodge as long as possible there. Trying to catch Rebellion out. Maybe you have him positioned a little awkwardly. Maybe you get a good 50. Maybe you even get an own goal out of it. But none of that's happening. Oh, and the ball skips hard over AJ's head. Here's another one for Optic. AJ finally go. sinks it. He's done with this game. On to the next one. Yeah, you had to give him a harder shot to score, clearly. The the one-on-one -on -one <laughs> with a lot of the net open was too easy. Instead, just make sure you dish him one up on the backboard and he'll drill it. <laughs> Great shot from AJ. Tying the series up at twos. But to be honest, that, that overtime was, was all optics. I, I think uh, Shopify really got pushed around a little bit there on the defensive side and just couldn't quite figure out where they needed to be positioned. And the timing of, and the structure of their defense really got thrown into a a blender right there, and they just couldn't get settled. I mean, the rebellion, they had a couple of, they had a couple of transitions that looked promising, but it, it felt like a complete flip from the last game where it was rebellion just hitting the ball away, not, not able to retain possession, uh, or Optic was doing that in the last game, excuse me, and now rebellion are doing that in this game, and Optic just had them locked down on defense again. So there, there have been two games in this series where, where Optic have been able to play with that consistency. 
But when Rebellion have won, they've scored in bunches. They scored, uh, they scored more than three in the first game. Mm-hmm. It's three nothing for most of game number three. So what's game five got for us as we had to waste last night? An important one is definitely what it is, especially when it, you're right. I, I'm with you there when you say Rebellion, they've had a lot of success, but they have to score in bunches to do it. It feels like they really kind of go out there, score one or two pretty quick ones, and then maybe a third shows up. But either way, it, they've done their best work when they forced Optic to have to execute and press for something. And granted, of course, Shopify has been able to execute on their own terms when they've got some of those stronger counterattacks, but in general, it just feels like Optic more often than not, the ones controlling pace of play, even if both teams are really struggling to come up with high quality chances on target. Right now, Rebellion had a couple of attempted pushes here. Memory, no boost as he forced this Magic Bear to just kind of whip back and forth. Well, pause some time. Ooh. Back to two piece. He gets a decent pop, but that's enough for AJ. Memory, though, he's got a full tank. Memory gets underneath and really wanted to get over that reset, but Reynolds takes the ball away. Magic Bear gets kicked, but AJ and Reynolds combine! Ooh. Oh! And they're ripped apart! What a save! <laughs> that was an absolute laser at the net. I don't know how two piece managed to get up in time to tip that one off the bar. I mean, I'd say nine times out of ten, that's like. You see somebody hit a line drive in baseball towards the outfield, and you're like, yeah, 90% of the time, that's a base hit. Not right there. <laughs> oh, man. He, like, somehow threw it the whole way across. <laughs> now Parth, he wins the touch before he gets deleted. Memory, no boost, but he wins the 50. Wants the steal. He's got it. Two-piece full tank for midfield. Parth is far back for AJ's touch. Trying to cut off Rettles, but he had to dive pretty deep to do it. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, not the best landing from two piece. Kind of got chipped on his way up. Oh, awkward. <laughs> I think memory is very fortunate that Reynolds didn't get command of the ball there in the corner. He realized that he was just going to have to rotate straight through his teammates, so he's just trying to fight for the ball. And Optic just not really able to get control cleanly. Mm. Everyone from Rebellion far back here, but. Optic couldn't really get a good touch out of Reynolds there. Now Parth feathers it and just misses it. No contact. Now two piece has to find a way through. He got the 50 back to memory. Who forces the play in the corner? Demos Reynolds on his way back. And he's just gonna turn right on it. But two piece has also jumped. Memory's gonna make it work anyway. AJ gets underneath him, but he's forcing Optic to get up on the goal line, make these saves. Magic Bear able to get a soft touch. AJ follows it up nicely. Optic hunting. And they find the mark. Magic Bear just ripped Ooh. it off the post. And now a pop transition for Parth. Taking it slow. Parth, oh, tried to connect with two piece. Memory got to sit back. Love the idea here from Rebellion, but they just couldn't get a threatening touch. AJ, return fire and oh. save, but no good. Right off the post into the net. AJ got the lead. Optic show you this. This is how you're supposed to transition up the field when you've got the quick redirect as the only option. You put that shot straight on target strong. You don't go for the extra pass. Unfortunately, Shopify kind of flubbed their touch. I think it was Parth just couldn't quite get around it. Ended up having to try and pass the ball. And then Rebellion nearly put a second one in off the kickoff after a beautiful redirect. So two minutes left, and now Rebellion find themselves in a situation that they're quite familiar with, unfortunately. Down one, a lot of time left, but you gotta make something happen, and now that pressure is getting increased. Oh. Look at AJ, he was straight headhunting the last man here. He's just like, nope, I'm gonna hit you. There's nothing you can do about it. He does, he just rolls straight up the wall, sees he, oh, you're <laughs> rotating back? That's cute. Uh, how about not? And Optic trying to steal this one take advantage in the series, put it on match point. And Rebellion pull out some magic here as two piece. Okay, there's the first bit of magic. The first step is done. How many one more? Right back in it. Couldn't ask for a better kickoff. I mean, it stalemates and two piece somehow wins the ball clean. Totally uncontested. No touch from Optic. And of course, that's going to put the third man back and bite the bind to say the least. Beast, that's a great bit of shooting to get yourselves right back in this one. And now, tons of time for them. Could be a confidence builder for Rebellion. Been shut down offensively for most of the game. They had a couple nice transitions. Two-piece, he's starting to come online. Two-piece 
fully connected to game. Well, he knew he was capable of it, but look at this timing on the challenge to steal it away. Ooh. Quick cut to get through the second player and then Rettles one on one. Try as you might when it gets ripped that hard at you. Good luck trying to save it from that close. That's a straight 1v3 from two piece. And two piece. Our memory has had some standout moments. Two piece is really starting to feel it. Hartho misses the ball. No. Oh, they had a gift and Rettles returned it to center. A gift for sure, but not a freebie to be fair. Not the easiest shot to make when you're not expecting them to just straight misplay a ball. Rettles gave it his best look. But that's often what we talk about. That's the margin that you operate Ooh. on. And somehow Rettles comes through with a much cleaner attempt. And I don't know how the defense got in position to block that. They sent all three and they said, surely they can't get through all of them. Two piece up high and no one from Optic was ready. Everyone was rotating back, so triple didn't even matter. It's a decent drop attempt, but AJ's left by himself. Rettles picked up the demo on the back side. And now he cuts right back in, but there's two orange cars that are in his way. Two piece, oh, ill-advised touch. Now downfield, Magic Bear redirect, but saved. Still a loose ball. Optic gonna get the first look. It'll be Rettles trying to slow it down. He's over memory, Rettles. Not over two-piece, stays right with it, gets over AJ, and keeps Rebellion in regulation. Oh. Popped up high, maybe Rebellion gets set up here. Magic Bear's got a ton of boost, but he loses to 50. Maybe Rebellion got something here, but look how far off they pulled when Rettles was on the back wall. Parth wins it, memory in the air, Drop down! Oh, off the party! Another shot, no two-piece he missed! And a big chance for Rebellion! Optic might just steal it right here! AJ, off the ramp, Rettles trying to size this up, and he just can't get the measure of it. He had to leave. Oh, boy. Rebellion, you got to be upset not scoring right there. Of course, Two Piece did have to come all the way around the opposite side of the ball to try and get there in time. Unfortunate. That's the way she goes sometimes, but that was by Whoa. far and away the best chance he had. Rettles, strong defense. And Rebellion, you wonder if they're going to get another quality chance like that. Well, they have control at the start of the overtime, but oh, you saw two piece. He cut up expecting a 50 from per, uh, Parth, but Magic Bear just full supersonic knocked that ball back. Hang on, Magic Bear forced to cut into the rotation, and Memory keeps things tight. Parth leaving with under 50. That's all he's got. AJ looking for Rattles. There's some space. Hard kick, but oh, like how often have they actually caught two piece out on that hard transition shot? Even right Ooh. there, Memory. I mean, he just hits in the, he's in the perfect spot. Parth delivered. An absolute screamer off of his car. It didn't end up mattering. It, it did buy him a lot of time. I actually think it mattered quite a bit. They bought him a lot of time to really get reset on defense in a Fair situation enough. where they were about to get pressed quite hard. So sometimes that's just one of those fluky instances on defense where the positioning works out just oh. so. Oh! And Parth not able to get all the way around it and dunk it home, but Shopify not done yet. Now they're getting some boost deals. Parth? Optic in a Memory? tight spot. Rettles for free. Memory trying to get there in time, but now you got to be careful. You don't overcommit if you're Rebellion. Oh, Rebellion, especially when you can smell it. You were that close. You might just try to push that throttle a little faster just to get the goal, but now the back end's wide open and Memory closes it quickly, but it's another free ball. Oh, Pass to Rettles, shut off the board! Another chance for Optic wiped off the board. Oh, that's another quality chance for Rettles, unfortunately off the back wall, honestly, not by much. Frustrating to say the least, but now the demos come through and two piece, that's great recognition of the situation. Realized he needed to get there and just dump that one down the field. See what happens. A lot of demos coming out for Optic right now. AJ, Ooh. pull the ball, pitches it over, Rettles! Oh no, my you're joking. god, what in the world? You do everything right. You draw up the right pass, you do the right thing. Oh no. You hit the ball with power, and then this happens to you, and it's off the ball. Okay, all right, <laughs> four fans showed up today. Good job, Blue Post. Good job, Orange Post. E everyone's doing their work today. Everyone. We really appreciate uh, all your service over the years. Thank you. High quality construction. No, <laughs> no elasticity. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Not out We're going to have to change the lights on that thing eventually. I mean, some of them looking like they're going out. Let's be honest. It's getting pepper, that's for sure. Speed <laughs> up. New paint job at least here on Wasteland. They don't, I don't think they had paint. I think they would have repainted those years ago. But Rettles, Ooh. nice new touches. It didn't matter. Memory covered Parth. 
Magic Bear squaring up on the 50 and a big boomer downfield. Parth dropped down the two piece, but no. Memory, he was also playing it tight. He got a neutral 50. Allowed Parth to come back, get a boost, and protect the ball. Wasteland overtime continues. Ooh, but Optic, that's a big couple of challenges for Magic Bear. Uh -oh. Two piece here in a what? spot. I don't him. know. He bumped Huge him. Huge backflip. Just aware of the timing, literally backflipped as soon as he got bumped, so it would stall the bump momentum. Oh. Keeps the save out. What, what a play. I don't even think Memory meant to bump him. I think he was just trying to get in the rotation. Oh. He just drove in front of him, and it, oh my gosh. Optic. Parth. Now gonna take it away from Optic. He's got a reset. Oh, you he just was hoping kidding. he could get him out, but Rattles ain't fooled. He finally finds the mark, and Optic one to go to win the steer. You know, I'll be honest. I think Two Piece saw that flip reset start, and I think he thought his teammate got it. And to be honest, I don't know if he did or not because it didn't look like Parth tried to actually execute a flip reset there, but. I don't understand why he wouldn't have hit it if he had got it. You know what it I mean? Right, it would have went right in the red. Well, but at the same time, him not hitting it just let well, Rettles yeah. take the ball for free. <laughs> and <laughs> and, no, then, absolutely. Uh, but like, and two I, piece uh, behind him is just thinking, oh, here comes the flip reset. This ball's going forward. Yeah, so I think I, it's, I, we I all think it's very, I, yeah, it's exactly. So That's why I think it's very possible Parth actually didn't get that flip reset somehow. Yeah, so I don't understand why you so wouldn't go for it. So. Either way, that's a tough one to lose on. I, I mean, really kind of an unforced error. I mean, two piece really just thinking one one thing is going to happen and the exact opposite happens, Rettles. To be fair, R Rettles, I think, did deserve to score another goal there. <laughs> he, he had quite no, a No, man, if you're banging the bar there. the whole time, you don't deserve it until you stick it. Come on now. Come uh, on. One of them <laughs> off the backboard, one of them ricocheting off the post and going straight back across the box. <laughs> I mean, how, many, but how many demos game. he's gotten too? Like you think eventually <laughs> that one of those would, would have enough of an open net, right? Well, unfortunately for Shopify Rebellion, the, the luck didn't last forever. And Reddle's got a, a nice uncontested, can't miss this one to, to put game five away and put them on match point. Shopify Rebellion now in the situation needing to win two straight. Granted, this is just the beginning of the journey for either of these teams. They would still have to win the entire event with a little bit of help still to come. But that being said, it's always better to get yourself in a position to where you still have hope rather than just have it come screeching to a halt right here. Well, and, and you know, the, the season is something you have to keep in focus as well if you're both Rebellion and Optic, because these points do accrue over time. So a good placement might not get you into the major, but it will give you uh, a couple more points. And when we get down to the stretch the at the end of the season, world yeah, those points are going to matter. Yeah, it's going to matter a lot. Uh, fun fact, though, it, Magic Bear, he has not made a single top four uh, since he's been playing. He has made top eight. <laughs> really? He's made top eight ten times. But he no has, shot. He's, he's actually the player who's made the most top eights without making a top four. Wow. Ten of them. <laughs> Magic Bear has a chance here to get his very first top four. Can now he get it done? One. That's a fun one. <laughs> you said fun fact. That is indeed a fun fact. <laughs> I like it. But also a fun fact, memory scored. one nothing Rebellion. Somehow, some way, Emery just keeps being in the perfect spot. That's a second kickoff. It's just gone straight through on two I can literally teams. Hear Johnny just flying right now. <laughs> They're playing close follow up, and it's just like, guys, come on, this can't go in. Oh, I, think, I think there might be a thousand of those that go in before the team finally changes their ways. But hey, Oops. makes it more fun for us, right? We'll never know what's going to happen. Two piece. Wow. I was hoping for a read, no chance. Yeah, he's going for the world right there. He wanted to incredibly obtuse angle shot back across his body to the net ambitious to say the least and a pinch straight to magic bear but just out of reach optic in the hole early of course but that is kind of the silver lining you've got all game to find one and i guess to make it better you do you were gonna have to score at least once to win anyway absolutely and i mean with rebellion's defense i think they're very uh they're in a very good spot to hold this one goal lead optic 
for as much control that they had at times and as much as Rebellion's crossbar has helped them out. Besides that game, I mean, Rebellion's defense had really played a mostly solid series and putting on some good pressure against Optic, but Rettles turns right back onto the ball. AJ also diving for Optic. Parth oh, the other way God. and can't make contact. They're going for the big reads off the wall. Bar oh. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> Both teams are just trying to fly supersonic on these transitions. And Parth is, Parth is going for the impossible angles right now. Oh. It's just, you'll try anything to extend the lead. <laughs> it's true, especially when you're on Neo Tokyo and may very well may be sent out of the tournament after this. Hello, two-piece. That is wow. aggressive there in the midfield. I guess he did have a player behind him in Parth, but at the same time, you got to be at least a little cognizant that that may not be the best challenge to always go for. Some physicality. Look at Reddle's disruption here in the net. Forces them to turn to the left. And the recognition here from Magic Bear says, aha, the right side's open now. You know, that's one thing about Reddle's game that it hasn't really changed over the course of the entire season. While well, well, Optic, oh, and Optic have certainly had their struggles, but Rettles in every single tournament is always leading the league in demos per game. And that doesn't include all of his bumps that he causes. Oh my gosh, it's a great pass. Ooh. And then the bar ruins Ooh, and, that's through all three. and Rettles is there. He knows he's got it. He's just got a bump memory and he does one better. Deletes him off the pitch. So Optic and I suppose more specifically, AJ actually get the bump to score on the previous play. This time, Riddle says, nope, this one's definitely going in that demos category. Count one for me. <laughs> Great play from Riddles to execute the one-on-one. -on -one. And Shopify Rebellion kind of get put in the fire here a little bit. Half the game, got to find one. Certainly doable, but that's been the question. It's, it's never really felt like they've had a fully cohesive, you know, three-man push over on Optic for quite a while now, really since game one. Oh, that's a beautiful pass. Oh, you're and a kidding. Terrible shot. Memory, who had been very accurate earlier, has somehow lost his mojo on that shot, bounced off the inside of the post. And a chance for a tying goal goes to the wayside. That was absolute funny. I mean, pass like that across the box, beats all defenders. Rettles could have really put this one on ice. Can't convert, though. May have ran out of boost, and this time, let's talk about flying under the radar here, the six-inch air dribble into a pass. <laughs> <laughs> it works, though. I mean, Magic Berry's forced up, and AJ, he sees Magic Bear, so he positions himself to the right side of the net, thinking he's going to play a 50 off the back wall or play, play the ball out to the corner. But no. It's just a little bit more boost, and they fly right by Magic Bear, complete the pass, and Rebellion are still alive here in Game 6. Two-piece trying to keep it close. AJ went for the pinch, but the ill result is all just gets sent back to the blue corner. Nice quick touch from Rettles. Whoa. <laughs> AJ just casually flying back, trying to size that ball up, and then an orange car goes way around you. Now Optic <laughs> go right towards the net. And they're in. Oh. Rattle scores again. Two for him, three for Optic. Too hot to handle for memory here. This one gets absolutely smashed off his backboard. Not to mention AJ coming in and getting physical with him as well as he tried to rotate back to net. Did not have a clean look to try and go and take that one away. Rattles converts another one. Rebellion have to respond to Ken. Another neutral kickoff but another win for two-piece. He goes hard. AJ meets him at the punch, and now he's missed the ball, and everyone's missed. It's contagious. Everyone, it's contagious. A little whiffy whiffy to follow that one up. Shopify running out of options. Caution to the wind. Ooh, could have been something special. Memory, obviously an incredibly difficult shot there, but what can you do? Oh, AJ, I guess you're gonna watch it put it in the back of your net. AJ running downfield here, and he's just oh, the back dash, geez. trying to get back. Two-piece trying to size AJ up the whole time, and what are you supposed to do if you're two-piece? You're hoping somebody 
could stop him on that push. AJ, excellent approach and good shot. Oh, excellent approach to, to say the least. <laughs> Chain dashing down the sidewall to keep up the speed as he collected that midfield boost to get himself in position. Great bit of movement. They're downfield. Rebellion starting to become impossible territory. Rebellion at, or for two piece and Parth, their best finish has also been top eight. But they've only been able to get top eight three separate times or three times. So as they try to force game seven, there's not a lot of time. They need a goal with some left on the clock. Maybe they can get one here with two piece. Drop pass is looking okay. good. One to go. Something to look forward to at least. You're not totally out of it just yet. Nice dish from two piece into the middle, of course. Take that away. Optic totally frozen on the backboard there with AJ and obviously capitalize on the open space in the midfield. Great pass, great shot. How do they draw this one up? Another standard Ooh, take hey. off two piece, losing that 50. And it's a little awkward. Everyone's back. Optic take the ball out and take Rebellion out. No time left. Ooh. Rebellion get it done. In the corners, it's over. Magic Bear and Optic get to top four and continue this little journey. They're the biggest complexity fans ever waiting in the semifinals.